say it. We're in your prayer. Good morning. I'm Diane Hansen, and welcome to Morning Glory. It's such a pleasure to come into your space another time to share the word of God. And, you know, before we get started with our devotion this morning, I just want to welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit in our midst. And we just want to also just give God thanks for another day that he has given unto us. And it's because of his endless love why we are here today. And so for that, I am forever grateful. And so today we want to share with you, as we always do, a word that we believe that will help to reshape, transform your life. And so we're going to be sharing on Don't Give Away Your Birthright. And my guest for today is Pastor, or rather Associate Pastor Denise Samuels from Faith Cathedral Deliverance Center in Kingston, Jamaica. She's an HR manager, and at, but HR manager, mm -hmm. and also a lady that has such an amazing personality and spirit of excellence. I want to say thank you, thank Pastor you. Denise, for being here on set with me on Morning Glory. It's really a pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you so much. A woman much. who knows the word. <laughs> and so, as I said before, we're going to be talking about don't give away your birthright. Right. Yes. And, you know, we're talking about, we're going to be sharing from Genesis 25 right. about the life of Esau. Yes. And, and Esau and yes. Jacob, his brother, of course. Yes. Uh, it's a beautiful story, <laughs> a very <laughs> interesting one, indeed. and I believe that there are some Esau's that are watching us oh, yes. today. Indeed, indeed, that we need to encourage yes. and remind them of the importance of preserving your birthright. That's right, indeed, that's right. Indeed, yes. indeed. But some persons might be watching Pastor Denise and yes. ask the question, what is, what is a birthright? A birthright. Yes. It is a right, a privilege that we have as a result of our birth. Mm -hmm. And you know, even in biblical times, if we look at um, Deuteronomy, it will tell you that in those days, the firstborn would get a double portion mm -hmm. of their father's inheritance. Right. And it was a call to being the family leader when that father would pass on. Mm -hmm. So it was a prestigious place. Mm -hmm. And so we know that too, that as children of God, we were born into the kingdom. St. Right. John um, 3.16 reminds us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, right. but have eternal life. And that really speaks about our spiritual birthright. Mm -hmm. And what I have found through the years is that a lot of persons mix up our birthright mm -hmm. to, with blessings. Yes. Because a birthright is your right as a result of you being born right. in the kingdom. Right. Mm -hmm. But more often, you have to now wait for the blessing, mm -hmm. which is what happened here with mm -hmm. Jacob and, and Esau, Esau right. being born with their birthright and eventually selling. Yes. Right, 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 right. And I just want to clarify for those who are watching, it's not necessarily dead left. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Right, not the dead of that all. you are entitled Titled to, to. From, from birth. From and, birth. And hence the name birth. birth. Right. right, right. So and, I'm happy that right. you and it's nothing you 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 do to earn it. It's yes. it's a gifting. It's something yes. that is passed on yes. to you. But to yes. me, the, the the story of of of, of um, Esau. Esau and Jacob found yeah. in Genesis 25 mirrors the relationship that we have with God. Indeed. Because some of us would have, well, all of us would yes. be born with our birthright, but yes. some of us would have yes. basically give away our, our, birth. our birthright, yes. which is what happened here right. in, in, in Genesis 20 25. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, right. they, you, a number of persons, including you know persons who would come into the church, you get baptized, you get saved, and for one reason or the other, you fall mm -hmm. by the side, and you, you, you keep complaining and saying, God, I am not receiving the blessings that I see other persons are getting, mm -hmm. and they are not realizing it's because they have not tapped into the truth the that they have really walked away from their birthright. I believe yes. when you hold on to that, yeah. know that you have a right to be blessed because you're a child of mm -hmm. God. You have a right to live a life that is free from sickness and Amen. disease. Amen. When you tap into those yeah. things. Yes, it right. gives you that level of comfort knowing that, listen, even if you don't have money, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. You have a right at the table Amen. that can make you approach God yes. and with an attitude that God, I receive that which you have already provided yeah. for and, me. And, and funny you enough, know, you're sharing on this, uh, Pastor Denise, because I can share from my personal testimony yes. that there was a time in my life yes. that I didn't understand that the fact that I was born, I'm yes. entitled to the blessings of God. Yes. And I remember in a particular season of my life where the Lord said, listen to me, you're my daughter, move up, sit yes. at the table. Yes. Sit at the table. Mm-hmm. It's yes. like I was below the table eating the crumbs. Yes. And he said to me, no, you are precious to me. You need to come, come up, up to the table. Yes. And this is what I'm hearing you're saying. Of course. <laughs> and, and that is why a number of Christians or even the world, people looking on and yeah. will see Christians advocating to be blessed, to be delivered, to be set free. And people tend to think that, listen, as a child of God, you you are limited. You're Mm -hmm. not supposed to live a particular lifestyle. That's not true. God has made provisions for us as his children. Mm -hmm. And because of those provisions, we must make use of it. And so if we find ourselves struggling for one reason or the other, and the enemy will cause us to struggle because he wants to to really really deflate us and discourage us, what we need to do is rise up and stand on the word of God and remember what the Lord did for us. Mm -hmm. He purchased us back. Amen. We we should have gone in a different direction, but because of what God did for us, the Lord says, listen, your demise should have been one way, but I have predestined you. And if you tap into what I have to offer, yeah. which is the birthright, which mm-hmm. is what I've made provisions yeah. for, yeah. then you will have abundance. Amen. I want to just read quickly yes. um, Genesis 25, verses 29 to 30, yes. 34. And it says, Once when Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau came in mm-hmm. from the open country, famished. Yes. He said to Jacob, Quick, let me have some of the red stew. I'm mm-hmm. famished. Jacob replied, first, sell me your birthright. Look, I'm about to die, Esau said. What good is the birthright to me? But Jacob said, swear to me first. So so he swore an oath to him, selling his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob Mm -hmm. gave Esau some bread and some lentil stew. Mm -hmm. He ate and drank, and then he got up and left. So Esau despised his, his birthright. birthright. And I think a lot of us at that, you know, it's, you it's know, at that similar to, to Esau where we despised our birthright. Yes. You know, but how can you get something like this from God? God. And I you know. just give it away for just a small... One, one meal, one blessing when you can have a lifetime. for example. You know. When you can have a lifetime. Was it a meal deal? It was. It was. It really was. You know, when it, as you say that, some I, I, my mind go back to the fact that, you know, Rebecca was barren initially. Right. And there came a time when, you know, Isaac, you know, petitioned the Lord. And here it is. Mm-hmm. She conceived. Right. And during her pregnancy, it's almost like a fight began in mm-hmm. the womb. In the womb, right. And I kind of think of that as good and evil mm. wanting to see who will get first right. place. Uh-huh. And we see it all start there. Right. And so even with Jacob, what Jacob did, what you have to what I interpret all of this, Jacob understood birthright. birthright. Amen. Yes. Esau <laughs> took that yeah, for granted. Yeah. And, you know, and the people might say that yes. Esau was godless. Yes. <laughs> because he yeah. he was very um nonchalant concerning mm-hmm. those things mm-hmm. while Jacob understood that all I need mm-hmm. is to tap into mm-hmm. the birthright mm-hmm. and I will eventually get right. the, blessing. the blessing. Esau yeah. found that out later in Genesis mm-hmm. 27 when he right. realized that Jacob had deceived mm-hmm. his father and had taken it. Right. By then it was too late too and late. he was crying mm-hmm. out, Father, you don't have another blessing <laughs> for me. But it was too late. And this tells me that more than the blessing, mm-hmm. What is most important is the birthright, Mm -hmm. coming into the the, the family of God. And so even persons out there who are not yet Christians, 
and wondering what will make a child of God so different from me. It all ties to the birthright. Mm -hmm. And those who are Christians and wonder, how come I'm not so blessed like others? Mm -hmm. You are probably like an Esau right. <laughs> who don't value yes. and is taking advantage right. of the birthright. And, and right. I want to put it because I believe, Pastor yes. Denise, that some persons, they have been taken advantage of. They have. Because they don't understand Stand. The yes, birth the birthright. Right. It, it is your right. We don't have to be yeah. fearful. We yeah. don't have to be timid. Yeah. We don't have to be shy when we come to the Lord. Mm -hmm. We don't have to think that, God, I am asking you for something that is beyond you. Yes. You have a right to live debt free. Mm -hmm. You have a right to live in great abundance. Amen. The, the, the scripture says yes. the wealth of the wicked is laid up for, for the earth. just. Amen. You have a right. Amen. And so when you are going through your season and the devil is telling you something contrary to that, you need to remind the devil that you are a child of God. Hallelujah. And because you are a child of God, you deserve the blessing. Yes. You know, even when we are going, our persons are in need of jobs. We're going through an unusual season mm -hmm. because of the impact of COVID-19. Right. And Christians are losing their job. Persons mm -hmm. are being displaced in Place one way right. or the other. But you must understand your right. Mm -hmm. And so you can go back to the Lord. Amen. And I believe that, you know, I've heard testimonies of persons who will say that right around them, mm -hmm. persons were getting laid off. Right. And their job was preserved. Amen. And it blew their mind because they thought mm -hmm. that the position they occupied was the least necessary, <laughs> but that was the one kept. Yeah. And those are people that you realize that, you know what, would have tapped into yeah. the birthright. And so when even I pray and I go to the Lord, yes, there were times in my life when I'd go with a pity party and I'd mm -hmm. cry and I'd say, God, you don't remember me. Mm -hmm. And I would cry and I would live. But then I recognized that, that you know what, I was more looking at the blessing <laughs> and not the birthright. <laughs> Right. And that's the thing with and that's Esau. The thing. Because guess what? Esau would have become the patriarch and the priest of his home after his father's death. Yes. But all he could see was, listen, I'm hungry and I just no. need a temporary solution. The right, no. And not looking at the food. permanent, not looking down the line. Yes. And that is the issue. A lot of us looking, as you say, on the blessing. Yes. And not on the birth. And not on the birth. And when you Perspective understand. Perspective is important. When you understand birthright, you are willing to wait. To wait, yeah. Because you notice, although mm -hmm. the birthright was Esau's to begin with because mm -hmm. he was first born, you had to wait until the father right. got to the place where, okay, mm -hmm. death is no, no right. before the blessing, the blessing is out. Right. And so this is another spin on it too. Mm -hmm. When you, because of our birthright, we understand the process of waiting mm -hmm. and understand that waiting does not mean denial. Mm -mm. Absolutely it not. It means at the appropriate, appropriate time. time. Amen. Because sometimes we ask God for things yes. and he doesn't give it to us right away and we think God doesn't love us, he's mm. punishing us but yeah. no, he says it's not yet the right time, time. Yeah. and when you understand birthright, you understand that when God says not yet mm -hmm. he's not saying no right. he is waiting until the right time yeah. to convey, yeah. give you the right. blessing. But is it that Esau never had a relationship with God? I think his relationship was not at the place that it should have at been that time. at that time. Right. It was not at that place. Not to say Jacob's own was. <laughs> <laughs> but, ja but Jacob had an inclination yes. that once he had the birthright, yes. the blessing would follow. Yes, and, and, and I think that some of us in church can mirror with a Jacob. We will have the inclination. We have the inclination. <laughs> We have the inclination. Yes. Not that we're really living the right. <laughs> the right. And so sometimes, yes. even with the inclination, people do devious things, which is what Jacob right. showed us. Yes. Um, unfortunately, his, his mother, Rebecca, supported him in that yes. process. Yes. Yes. Just like how today you will have parents who support their children in wrongdoing. And leaders who support, you know, their, 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 their followers, followers in wrongdoing. Yeah. Right. Yes, because right. of an inclination. But, you know, thank God for salvation. Eh? Thank God yes. for and salvation. His endless love, because, of, because endless. of his endless love, we yes. know that he actually saved Jacob. Yes. Jacob had an encounter with him, with him and yes. that forever changed his life. Because, and, and which is good, you yeah. must come to that place yes. where you recognize that, you know what, God, I'm tired of who I am. Yes. 
And so if you have been living a life mm -hmm. without tapping into the birthright, you restoration can take place. Yeah, yeah. You just need to get to that place that Jacob got to, got to. where he said, you know, I refuse yes, yeah. to leave this place. He wanted more. I think he, he got to that more. place that you realize that even with I deceiving my brother, brother for his birthright, there's more to life. There is more than, to life. Than this, you know? yes. I didn't quite get it the right way, Lord. I and I want it the right and way I this want, time. Yeah, you have to bless me because guess what? I have the birthright. Yes. But because it didn't come over the table, like came on the table and he did you know to help me so I Not can enjoy person. yes so Not I can yeah, I can enjoy and, and you realize it's more and more you know that the more the Lord will bless you you realize that the blessing alone in and of itself yes. is not enough. Amen. You need relationship. And you're so right because a lot of us, Pastor Denise, we yes. pray for house, we pray for car, yes. we pray for promotion. And yes. I guess it, we are blessed, but it's still, it's, it's empty. still empty. Because yes. you need relationship. Yes. And that's what Jacob lacked. And I want to, I want to say yes. to you that the moment yes. Jacob established his relationship, relationship with God, it was yes. easier for him to reconcile with his brother. With his brother. Yes. And therefore, if you want the relationship, with our heavenly father yes the, the other this is what the vertical yes the horizontal relationship yes. also should matter and we yes. should want to reconcile yes with, 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 our, with, with others, with others. Yes. It, it, it frees us to yes. do that when we have a genuine relationship with God he shows us who we really are right because sometimes, you know, as children of God, if you if you are not humble enough, yeah. you, you think more highly of yourself That's than right. you ought to think. Right. But when you have a relationship, a connection with God, yes. you see yourself as nothing before God and yeah. realize that without God, you can't you make can't it. Make and it that's the place. You know, I remember so many years ago, I preached a sermon, never trust anyone without a limp. <laughs> and that was really, and that was really saying, yes. you know what? When you come into true relationship, God will leave you with a limp. He will mm -hmm. leave you with something that consistently reminds you yes. that hey, without yes. me, yes. you are nothing. Amen. 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 And it keeps you yes. focused. Yes. So every time you are tempted to go astray and to yes. give up and you know turn your back, you say, oh, the limp. Yes. The limp is yes. there. Yes. It keeps you connected yes. to the yes. King of Kings. Yes. The experience. The experience, <laughs> yes. man. The experience. Something is there yes. the that experience. brings you and keep you whole. Yes. And and because sometimes it is true. You you go through a process and yes. the Lord delivers you. And you become merciless to somebody going through something that oh, you have yes. been yes. through before. Right. And you know what keeps your conscience? Mm -hmm. Your limp. limp. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it yes. brings you back to that place where you realize... I've been there before. I now need to show this person how I got out. Oh, I need to be more understanding, more patient, yes. and more merciful. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Because we're up on a break and we have been talking about the life of Esau. Yes. And our topic has been don't give away your, your birthright. Right. All right. We're going to be taking a brief break right now and we invite you to join us for part two of Morning Glory. MTM. Dynamite television for the Caribbean. Welcome back to part two of Morning Glory. And we trust that you have been enjoying today's devotion. I want to read Hebrews 12, just one verse, verse 16. And it says, see that no one is sexually immoral or is godless like Esau, who for a single meal sold his inheritance or his inheritance right as the oldest son. So here we're seeing where yes. um, the writer of Hebrew has mentioned that Esau was is godless. godless. <laughs> and yes. I take my time to mention that because persons might be saying, how oh, could mm -hmm. the writer of Hebrew say that Esau was godless? Mm -hmm. But I believe Pastor, Pastor Denise, yes. that the fact that he yes. took something that was godly. Yes, and gave it away willingly willingly mm. that perhaps he really didn't have that relationship, relationship with, with god, god. Yes. Yes. yes he believed in god mm. but probably uh, went to church probably too. went to church <laughs> yeah but just didn't have a relationship, relationship with god and a lot of times you walk around and you hear people say listen you know you'll be, yes i believe in god yeah. but are you godly and right. the answer, if the answer is 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 no, no. 
then you're, if you are not godly, then mm. perhaps you are godless. Right. And right. this is what I believe is yeah. being said about Esau. Yeah. Esau is is one I refer to as a typical church goer. You have some persons who go to church and hardly miss a service. Mm -hmm. And when a need presents itself in their lives, rather than they run to Jesus, right. utilizing their birthright, mm -hmm. they will go to a man yeah. to have his help in paying their rent mm -hmm. or supplying their need, whatever mm -hmm. need that take. And that is really what Esau did. So he understood the physical, the physical, but the spiritual. But the spiritual, there was no connection, and it really speaks a lot to impatience. Yeah. A lot of Christians um, or churchgoers are not patient, okay. so they don't want to wait on the Lord for what He has already promised to provide right. to them. That's so and true. this is what happened uh -huh. with Esau, yeah. because we would have seen that later yeah. on when the birthright was given, he showed up to get it. <laughs> He showed, yeah, yeah. So he realized, oh, how important it really it is. It, but, but he just couldn't but wait at couldn't that time. Wait on it that time, right. yes. And and Philippians four verse nine says, the Lord will meet all our needs according to His glorious riches. Yes, in Christ Jesus. And I yes. think he he couldn't at, at that point in, in his time. life he couldn't. He couldn't understand how God was going to meet his need because right. he was looking at the immediate. Yes. The now. The now. Instead of seeing the bigger picture. And not having a relationship. And not with having friends. a relationship. I, I, as you say that, I remember there was a time in my life when financially things were just so low. <laughs> and I remembered I had bills to pay the week. And when I looked, in my purse, I had a hundred and fifty dollars. Now we know in Jamaica, a hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> is not U.S. It's a hundred and fifty Jamaican dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and I remembered I got up the morning and I was talking to the Lord, I was praying about the matter. And just as I got through praying, my telephone rang, and even when it rang, because I was crying through my prayers, I was tempted not to answer the phone because I didn't want the caller to hear that I was crying. Because wow. sometimes, you know, when 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 you think you have reached certain place, you don't want certain people to know how broken <laughs> you can get, especially when you're a preacher of the word. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people don't yeah. realize that preachers get broken yeah. too, and preachers go through seasons, and right. and preachers go through journeys yeah. and different experiences. But I decided to answer. Yeah. And when I answered the phone, the sister said to me, I just saw you praying. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Amen. She said, Hallelujah. I just saw you praying. Yes. And the Lord said, I'm to take some money mm -hmm. to give to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not telling you all that you give to me. <laughs> <laughs> But it was able to meet the needs that I had yes. and left extra. Amen. And that is the God we yes. serve yes. when we don't go to man, mm. but we go to God. Amen. Standing on our Amen. birthright, utilizing our birthright. Yes. God will make the provision. Amen. Because God knows when you are at the point where you yes. can't go any further. Amen. And he will step in right Hallelujah. at that moment Amen. and make the provision. Amen. All we need to do yes. is Wait, is wait the process. Yes. yes, and that's it. You know, that is always the challenge for some person to yes. wait. Yes, and the process. Yes, the process. The process. Yes, because it's like if somebody give you the birthright, it's like somebody gives give, you something and yes. they post dated check that. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, and you want to go cash it early. Early, exactly. You know, <laughs> but one yes. of the things I realize is oh, the lessons that we can learn from this 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 story yes. is that how oh, important it is to to take hold of the possession. Or yes. take hold of, uh, of of what God has given to us. Right. Understand that. Listen, this is ours, and hold it. Yes. Yes. And wait, as you say. And wait until the manifestation and takes place. Takes place. As you say that, I'm reminded of Job. Yeah. Job had oh, done yes. nothing wrong, mm -hmm. but you know what? God was so proud of him, and he lost everything. That's right. I, I don't know if I've met anybody like Job who has lost all that Job including had lost. Including your children. <laughs> including yes. the children. All ten of them. Yeah. And it's remarkable. Yes. Job understood mm -hmm. birthright. Yes. You know what he did? Mm -hmm. He didn't grumble. He didn't complain. 
he worshiped God. He said, the Lord giveth oh. and the Lord taketh away. Amen. And he was referring to his blessing. Yes. But he understood, listen, if I still have Jesus. The relationship. <laughs> if I still have relationship, <laughs> yeah. I am good. Amen. And he worshiped. And what has always blessed me about that story yeah. is that through it all, the scripture tells us that he did not sin, yeah. which is just powerful yeah. and remarkable. Yeah. He held true because he had a relationship yeah. with the king who is above Hallelujah. all kings. Hallelujah. The Lord is, he Amen. knew his God. A lot of persons know of God. Yes. They don't know God. Yes. But when you come into relationship with God, mm -hmm. you understand through the good times, mm -hmm. he is good. Yes. Through the bad times, he's still good. Yes. That is why David said, even yes. though I walk through, yeah, through the, the valley, valley of the shadow of death, yes. I have no fear because no he's fear. with us. And I think that is where it is, you know, the problem yes. comes yes. is that Satan tries to attack our confidence in God. Yes, yes. And that's, I believe, is an issue with some of us. And to weaken our faith. And, and then that will weaken So our that faith. we can miss out mm. on what God has in store, in store for, for us. us. But destiny is on our lives. Yes. And if we understand that, yes. and that destiny will pull us yes. to where God has already ordained for us, yes. then we will not do like Esau. Amen. And sell ourselves short yes. for a temporary fix. Yes. yes. When we can have a lasting Amen. and permanent yes. and, 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 and I blessing. want to say, though, for those persons who have sold their birthright, that it's not yes. too late. No. Repent. That's, that salvation is available to them right now right now in this moment yes. and we're encouraging them to seize the moment yes to seize this moment Hallelujah. yes we don't know if another moment like this will, will ever come. will come and we're right. not trying to intimidate anybody no but we're saying that you can seize the, the moment, moment right now right yes. here because perhaps you're watching this word today or this yes. program today yes so that you can make that change mm -hmm. to your life yes. um thank you pastor denise yes. for sharing such a powerful word My with pleasure. such clarity and such power and as usual we always like to pray with our viewing audience right. and so i'm going to invite you to pray with sure. them at this time Hallelujah. Let us pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful to you for yet another opportunity Hallelujah. to come before you. Yes, Lord. Lord, we've discussed the importance of the birthright and the difference between a birthright and a blessing mm -hmm. and the importance of not giving away our birthright. We know that there are many who would have tuned into this broadcast and are looking at their own lives and pondering the many ways they may have fallen short. Yes. But God, you are a merciful God. You are a forgiving God. You are a loving God. And the truth is, there is no thing that your people would have done because of their impatience that you are not able and willing to forgive and to bring restoration into their lives and so at this time i pray for those who are watching this broadcast yes. that if they like esau had sold their birthright mm -hmm. had walked away from yes, the faith Lord, hallelujah. or may have never connected with you yes. and surrendered and accepted you yes. as lord and savior of their lives i pray that this is the moment yes Lord. this will be the moment that you will bring revelation yes. to them that you lord will reveal yourself to them yes. and that you will cleanse them and forgive them and restore them so that they too, God, can participate in the abundant life mm -hmm. that you have predestined Amen. for them. Yes. Father, we give you glory. Yes. We give you we thanks. Give you glory, we bless you for what yes. you have done, for what you're doing, and for what you are yet to do as you reveal yourself to your people in a new way. And to that one who is unsaved, as you yes. pull him Amen. or her to yourself, yes, so Lord. that they too can become a part of Amen. the family of God. We give you thanks. Give you thanks in Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Name. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Thank you, Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you again, Pastor Denise, for sharing such a timely yes. word. 
Thank with us you today. for having me. Yes. yes, and I hope we'll be able to invite you again yes, to I share on Morning Glory. Yes, indeed. and we want to say thank you to our viewers for watching yes. Morning Glory today. Yes, and of course, you can share your feedback with us. The information is at the bottom of your screen. And we're encouraging you today to just live a victorious life through Christ Jesus. On behalf of MTM, our product team and producer, Reverend Basil Hanson, we wish you God's richest blessing. And again, thanks for watching today's program. Come on, say it. We're in your presence. Let it rain. Cause your rain to fall on me. Can we say it? We're in your presence. Let it rain. Cause your rain. Let it fall on me. Come on, say it.